I'm back. What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Brent. Hey, this is a weird video. It's real short, but this this is some sci-fi stuff. Just check this out. Yo, I'm on a lift. I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel. I'm on a lift and at the Freedom Coliseum and they literally got a sheriff escort to get antibodies drawn or injected for this vaccine. I just think this is some sci-fi stuff. So anyway, see the cop up front and I'm following it. And I probably shouldn't camera, uh, have the camera, but this is some crazy stuff right now. <laughs> I got a customer and I'm doing my Uber duty. And this is the type of sci-fi stuff we into right now about this vaccine and stuff. Signing off, The Ordinary Man. The next scene is basically the restricted area. Check it out. So this is the restricted area. It's a fenced off area at the Freedom Coliseum. And then it's a restricted area and we got police escorts and they're supposed to be doing the antibodies here. And then I don't know what it's all about, but I, I can't film my customer, but this is some sci-fi stuff. So just want to let you know that the restricted area and it's guarded by sheriff to people. Now, why do you need a police escort to give antibodies and then possibly be selected to get a new vaccine? This is the weirdest, weirdest vaccine ever. And then people don't and people ask the question why people are hesitant to to get the vaccine. This is my reason why. I say my reason why is because I served 27 years for the United States Army and I retired in 2017. And I believe most military based installations, we are the first one to get uh, be the guinea pigs for any type of vaccine. But this particular one, the, the, the military gave us an option to take the vaccine. Gave us an option. Now, the funny thing about the rest of this is this. The flu shot was mandatory. I mean, it was mandatory. If you didn't take, get the flu shot, you get written up. Now, why, if this vaccine was so, so important, why did they make it mandatory? But now, check this out. To this day, September 1st, they put out a memorandum saying that it's now that it's mandated that every, uh, military personnel has to get the vaccine think about it think about it i mean there's so many so many loopholes and skepticism and just funny things that's going on about this vaccine so me personally i'm not vaccinated i'm not planning to get vaccinated especially after i just experienced this so anyway this is the ordinary man informing you and educating you now i have information that i can share with anybody so if you want the information just hit me in the comments below and just say brent send me that information and i will send it to you explain it to you what is actually in these vaccines anyway i'm signing off and i approve this message goodbye